it is a graph ok. It is a so it look like we have a parabola that opens into right. Here we seeing that is the parabola is opens into right. S yes, friends, yes. Ok, we are taking in in before that we taken only the graph that with a, without any limitations. Here we are taking the graph with the limitations here minus 1 to 1 we are taking these limitations. So, note that only difference here is the presence on limit on t. Only we have the difference before graph and this is the only limitations ok. Here you see it is also a parabola with the limitations from minus 1 comma to 1 friends ok. Next friends next we are going to a fresh topic that ellipse ok friends ellipse what is mean by ellipse a conic section with eccentricity greater than 1 unity greater than 1 unity is called an ellipse ok friends a conic section with eccentricity is greater than 1 unity is called an ellipse ok friends here we are saying that ellipse uh, ok um, in our daily life how uh, in what way we are using ellipse elliptical shapes yes ok I clarify that ok sun and planets as an example planets are revolving around the sun in a which way elliptical order yes here so planets revolving around the sun with the elliptical order ok friends now we have to know by taking some point we have to get here we taken another thing ok here we are going to find out a standard form for par ellipse ok friends standard form for ellipse yes, ellipse means a conic section a conic section with eccentricity is greater than 1 unity eccentricity greater than 1 unity is called an ellipse ok friends here we are taking a parametric equations x is equals to a cos theta ok friends x is equals to a cos theta y equals to b sin theta we are taking this parametric equations friends ok here we do squaring on both sides then x square is equals to a square cos square theta then similarly y square is equals to a square sin square theta ok friends a square sin square theta by, by adding this what we get here if we take a square onto LHS what we get x square by a square is equals to cos square theta yes friends x square by a square is equals to cos square theta then y square by b square is equals to sin square theta ok friends by adding 1 and here we are taking it is an equation 1 and equation 2 then we get the value is x square by a square ok friends x square by a square plus y square by b square ok friends y square by b square is equals to 1 ok is equals to 1 it is in a standard form for ellipse. it is in a standard form for ellipse friends ok by taking these parametric equations we prove that by taking this parametric equation we prove the locus of these equations as an ellipse ok we have to show graphically that here we taken this x is equals to phi cos t y is equals to 2 sin t parametric equations friends ok here we taking the values t equals to 0, 90, 190, 270, similar, 360 similarly for circle ok. We get the points that phi comma 0 as an x y coordinates for 0 we, when we substitute t equals to 0 we get phi comma 0 next 0 comma 2 minus phi comma 0, 0 comma minus 2 and phi comma 0 we get these points by substituting t value 0 90 180 degrees 270 360 by substituting these we get these x and y variables I come ok now we are going to plot these points on x y coordinates here phi comma 0 here 
0 comma 2 minus 5 comma 0, 0 comma minus 2 and 5 comma 0. Okay, friends, here we plot a point. Okay, by joining these points, what we observe here, friends, is we are observing a shape of an ellipse. Here we, we are observing a shape of an ellipse, friends. Yes, okay. Already I said that we are using ellipse here with uh, we are using ellipse uh, planets around the sun is an elliptical way okay here it is an uh, ellipse okay friends it is a ellipse here it is a uh, this axis which is an x axis it is a major axis okay it is a major axis with the 2a which is along y axis this line is a minor axis equals to 2b. Okay, friend, here it is a along y axis, it is an a minor axis 2b, along x axis, it is a major axis 2a. Okay, here we are taking the values of parametric equations x is equals to 5 cos t, y equals to 2 sin t, with the limitations taking 0 to 2 pi values, we get a graph here. Are you observing friends? Yes, it is an ellipse. Okay, it is an ellipse. Okay, friends. Okay, now we are going to take an example. Okay, friends, we are taking an example. So, ellipse we are mostly using. Yes, okay, we are taking some examples that x is equal to phi cos theta y equals to so 2 sin theta. We are taking these parametric equations. Then by squaring on both sides, we get x square is equals to phi square cos square theta, y square is equals to 4 2 square or 4 or 2 square, 2 square sin square theta. As friends, 2 square sin square theta. Then if we take phi square on LHS, x square by 5, instead of 5 square we have to write 25 plus y square by 4 is equals to, here we are adding both the equations then cos square theta plus sin square theta, is not it? Yes, cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1. So, x square by 25 plus y square by 4 is equals to 1, here it is in a major axis, it is a minor axis. Okay, friends. Okay. Now, we are going to take some example problem that here we are going to prove the distance. Okay, friends. Here we are going to prove a distance. The orbit of the earth in an ellipse with eccentricity 1 by 60. We are taking one problem, friends. Okay. We are taking one problem. The orbit with an eccentricity 1 by 60 with sum of eta of one of the four key. Okay, friends, here here it is a center, yes? We are taking this as sun, yes, friend? It is a sun, okay? Here, earth is revolving, earth is revolving. So, he, we are taking this earth, okay? Okay, what here given that the orbit of the earth within eccentricity, what? Okay, first we have to write the standard form of an ellipse that x square by a square plus y square by b square is equals to 1. Okay, friends? Okay, since here they given that here the major axis approximately 186 into 10 to the power of 6 miles. Here they given major axis 2a is equals to 186 into 10 to the power of 6 miles they given and eccentricity 1 by 60. Okay friends, here eccentricity 1 by 60. Okay, now we are going to find out what they want uh, find, uh, asked to find means shortest distance and largest longest distance between the sun and earth. Okay friends, between sun and earth. Earth. Here we are going to find first. Here given 2a. Okay. Here 186 into 10 to the power of 6 miles. Okay, friends. We first we have to know the value of a. 
we are going to find a that's 93 into 10 to the power of 6 miles we get this okay friends we get the value of a okay friends now we are going to prove that the shortest distance and longest distance between earth and the sun okay when the earth becomes in longest we are finding both longest and shortest distance why when the earth revolves around the sun in 365 days yes when earth come here here on a semi major axis here uh, according to ellipse here it is a semi major axis a okay friends here it is in a semi major axis a when the earth travel uh, after traveling when it the position of earth at semi major axis here the here we are taking as a it is the longest distance if the earth is in semi minor axis semi minor axis means b it is the shortest distance okay friends why we are taking longest and shortest means when the earth comes here it is along in a semi major semi major axis a here it is the longest distance when the earth comes to semi minor axis here the distance is the shortest distance so we are going to find shortest distance and longest distance okay friends now we are finding for finding shortest and longest for longest we have to take a form a plus a e okay for longest distance for longest distance we are using a plus a e okay here what is the value of a 93 into 10 to the power of 6 miles is yes, 93 into 10 to the power of 6 okay what is the value of e here a is common we have to write like this is yes, 1 plus e is it clear friends we are taking here a as common then we get 1 plus e here a value is 93 into 10 to the power of 6 into 1 plus what is the value of e friends we know that the value of e here value of e is equals to 1 by 60 is it friend here the value of the e is 1 by 60 though 1 by 60 then we get 93 into 10 to the power of 6 here it is in a mixed fraction so we have to convert into a fraction that 16 to 1 16 to 1 60 plus 1 61 61 by 60 yes friend 61 by 60 okay we are writing here we are writing only 10 to the power of 4 into 61 by 60 and to instead of 10 square we are writing by cancelling all these values we get the value as 9455 9455 into 10 to the power of 4 miles we get it is the longest distance okay friend we get the value here 94 9455 9455 into 10 to the power of 4 miles it is the longest distance between a sun and earth now we are going to find out shortest distance shortest distance is equals to a minus a okay friend here also we have to write a 1 minus e okay friend are you following my words yes a minus a here a is 93 into 10 to the power of 6 1 minus 1 by 60 then 93 into 10 to the power of 6 here it becomes 16 to 1 60 minus 1 59 59 by 60 yes are you got it friends okay by doing this problem we get the value as here we get the value 9145 into 10 to the power of 4 miles okay friends here we get the shortest distance and longest distance that here longest distance is 9455 into 10 to the power of 4 miles and the shortest distance is 9145 into 10 to the power of 4 miles we get the values of longest and shortest distance are you clear about this friends okay first i have to uh, once i have to explain that the longest distance between the sun and earth when it comes means when the earth is in semi major axis 
it will be the longest distance. When the earth is in semi minor axis, it is a shortest distance. Okay, friends. Okay, now we are going to solve a problem on this. Okay, friends. Okay, we are taking another example for ellipse by taking some parametric equations. Okay, friends, we are solving some problem according to ellipse standard form. Okay, we are taken four cos theta y equals to two root two sine theta. We taken these examples. Okay, friend, here we are doing squaring on both sides. Then four square is equals to sixteen cos theta. Y square is equals to what two root two. 2 root 2 square means 8 cos theta, s 8 sin theta, okay, 8 sin theta we get, okay, if we take 16 onto LHS, x square by 16 plus y square by 18, 8 is equals to sin square theta plus cos square theta, we are squaring on both sides and adding both the equations, x square by 16 plus y square by 8 is equals to sin square theta plus cos square theta. Then we get the value x square by 16 plus y square by 8 is equals to 1. Okay, now we are going to find out the major axis, semi major axis and minor axis. Here, what is the formula for major axis? Here 2a, what is the value 2 into, what is the value of a here? 4 is equals to h. Okay, we are going to find the minor axis here 2. What is the value of B here? 2 root 2. Okay, friends, 2 root 2. Then we get the value 4 root 2. Okay, friends, 4 root 2. Here the value of major axis is 8 and the value of minor axis is 4 root 2. Okay, next we are going to take a hyperbola. Okay, friends, we are going to show a hyperbola standard form. We are taking the equations that x is equal to a sec theta, y is equal to b tan theta. We are taking these equations. Okay, friends. Okay, here x minus a is equal to sec theta, y minus b is equal to tan theta. Okay, friends. Here we are doing subtraction okay we are going to have in this okay friend here take in a plane two a parametric equations x is equals to a sec t and y equals to b tan t here we are taking in t form here x by a is equals to sec t and y by b is equals to tan t we are taking these okay friends here we are doing squaring on both sides then we get x by a whole square Minus, we are taking minus because according to our trigonometric formula, x square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So, we are sub subtracting equation 2 from 1. So, x minus here whole square minus y by b whole square is equal to x square t minus tan square t. Okay, friends, x square t minus tan square t is equal to 1. So, x minus here whole square minus y by b whole square is equal to 1. We get this equation it is represents a hyperbola. Okay, friends, what x square by a square, okay, x square by a square minus y square by b square is equals to 1. It is a standard form of hyperbola. Okay, friends, here we show that here a hyperbolic diagram with a four key. Here two four keys are there. It is in a semi major, ax, major axis and it is a minor axis. Okay, friends, Okay, here we are taking some parametric equations. The parametric equations x is equal to t cos t, y equals to t sin t. It is in a, it represents a spiral shape. Okay, it is a representing a spiral shape. Next, here we are taking another example according to ellipse. We are taking this. Okay, find x y equation for this equation. We are taking two parametric equations x is equal to 5 plus 2 cos t, y equals to minus 3 plus sin t. Okay, friends, here we taken 
x is equals to 5 plus 2 cos t, y equals to minus 3 plus sin t we taken. Then if we take phi here phi to left side we get x minus phi is equals to 2 cos t, here y plus 3 is equals to 2 sin t. By taking 2 onto LHS x minus phi by 2 is equals to cos t, y plus 3 is equals to sin t. Okay, by applying squaring on both sides x minus phi by 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square is equals to cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1. It is in a standard form of an ellipse. Here we added out that here we are taking that standard form that x square by a square plus y square by b square. It is in a standard form for he, but here we had the values x minus 5 by 2 whole square y plus 3 whole square. Those are the we are taking at that is an ellipse. So, there is another equation that x minus h whole square by a square plus y minus k whole square by b square is equal to 1. It is also a standard form of an ellipse. Okay friends, it is also a standard form of an ellipse. Okay friends, now we are going to recap the matter which we have learned now. Okay, here we taken the parametric equations where x is equal to x1 plus r cos t, y equals to y1 plus r sin t we taken. As friends, as okay, by taking those parametric equations, what is that? We get an a Cartesian form x minus x1 by cos t my equals to y minus y1 by sin t. The locus of this equation is a straight line x is equals to t, y equals to t, Cartesian form of this equation is x minus y equals to 0, here the locus is a straight line. Next we take an another x is equals to r cos t, y equals to r sin t, it is a standard form of a circle, here x square plus y square r square is in a Cartesian form or a standard form, if the locus of this equation is circle as well as it is also a circle. Next here we take in two parametric equations, standard form of that is y equals to 4, 4 a x, it is the standard form of parabola. X here we taken two parametric equations, x equals to a cos t, y equals to b sin t. Therefore, we get a standard form x square by a square plus y square by b square is equals to 1, it is an ellipse. Next, we take hyperbola, x is equals to sec t, y equals to b tan t, we get the value x by x square by a square minus y square by b square is equals to 1, it is a hyperbolic form. Next, it is a rectangular hyperbola with this and x y equals to c square is a standard form, it is a rectangular hyperbola. Next, we take this, it is an equation of a curve, this is an ellipse. Okay friends, today we learn many the things like in a geometry form, a conic section that circle, yeah, circ about circle parabola and ellipse, hyperbola, rectangular hyperbola, we will learn all this. Okay friends, okay, okay, these are the curves we are using friends. Okay friends, okay, I, I would like to first, I would like to thank our beloved secretary sir who gave a wonderful opportunity to, to me to say as a super student here, thanking you sir and also I would heartily thank to my institution who sent me for this session, thanking you all, thank you.